Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I want to show you guys how to make some bendy pencils. Oh my god, it's happening. Click the like button if you guys remember the bendy pencils from back in the day because I used to be obsessed with them and I am so glad that I finally figured out a method to make these happen. Also, if you guys want to see how to make a different kind of bendy pencil, I'm going to go ahead and link a really good video down below that my friend Kim made. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please click the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are not. Thank you guys so much for watching and we're going to go ahead and get straight on to this video. So to make these bendy pencils, I'm going to use bake and bend clay. This is clay that I found at Michael's. And once you bake this clay, it actually turns out really bendable and stretchy and it comes with a bunch of different colors. But before we get onto our clay, we're going to take a pencil and we're going to start breaking it apart with an X-Acto knife and we're going to take the lead out because I'm actually going to use the lead inside to make it bendable. Once I get the lead out, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and I'm going to start scraping it down to a powdered form, like literally all of it, although it's going to take a while. You can also use sandpaper, it will be much easier and faster. Once I have it in powder form, I'm taking a little piece of the black bendable clay and I'm mixing it together with the powdered lead or graphite, whatever you want to call it. I feel like the lead is really hard and it kind of turns the clay really stiff and it doesn't want to mold together but just work it in and the heat will help everything blend together. You will know that you have enough lead in the clay when it starts to stain your hands like crazy. Go wash your hands and then we're going to take some clay in a different color and we're going to start to form our pencil. Once you've rolled a snake you're actually going to put a piece of lead like the actual lead that's not powder down and you're gonna go ahead and form that around the reason we're doing this is because we want to leave a hole in there to be able to stuff it later but once you have baked it you're gonna go ahead and pull it out that's probably not making any sense right now but it will later now that it's out of the oven I'm just gonna squish it around and kind of get the lead out just yank it out and then once it is out I'm gonna start putting the actual lead um, moldable clay the one that I made with the clay mixed with the powder and I'm stuffing it into the hole once you have stuffed it go ahead and put it in the oven for about one more minute and that's all you need when you take it out it should be ready all you have to do is sharpen your pencil and then you will have your bendable pencil to make my pencil look more realistic, I took this off of a pencil and then stuck it on to my um, bendable pencil. And there you have your bendy pencil. How many times am I going to say the word pencil in this video? And there you have it. It's obviously not as pigmented as a regular pencil would be, but it still does the job. And I think it's pretty darn cool. I also went ahead and made a bunch of other different colors and I am so pleased with the way these came out. I am so surprised that I actually figured out a method on how to make these. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to tag me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys recreate this. I love you guys so much. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please click the like button, comment down below. What do you guys want to see next? I'm always open to your ideas and thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!